Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Transparent Homeschool. My name is Beth, and if you haven't been around my channel before, um, allow me to introduce myself. Like I said, my name is Beth, and um, I homeschool two kiddos. I have a seven-year-old and a five-year-old, and um, I also have a, a wee little one, um, but she she's 18 months, and so her main thing is destruction right now. And so I talk a lot about just like my homeschooling journey, my frustrations, um, and I'm honest, you know, I don't sugarcoat anything. And so I think as homeschooling parents, we really need that kind of, um, you know, that accountability and that, that comfort there knowing that, you know, we're not the only ones who have toddlers running around destroying everything that you, you know, put away and all that stuff. So uh, today I want to bring you a quick video about a comparison between Right Start Math Level A and the Good and Beautiful uh, math level K. And um, if you've been around my channel for a while um, and watched any of my other curriculum related videos, you know that I used Right Start Math for the first two years of my homeschool journey. And I love Right Start Math. Let me say that right off the bat. I love their educational philosophy. I love how they approach math. I just love everything about that company. The reason we switched, and I'll get into this a little bit later, but um, the reason that we switched was um, at the end of last year, my son was, was pretty far behind, and the, the math facts just weren't concrete, and it was a struggle kind of to do math. And so I figured we would stop right start math, and we would try a different approach, and this seems to be working really well. And so um, today, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, um, again, the, both math curriculum programs the manipulatives that they use, um, and kind of how the course is set up, you know, the day-to-day -day, uh, way that the lesson goes, and um, a little bit more about why we switched. So let me turn the camera around, and we will get started. Okay, guys, so right here what we have is this over here is all of the stuff that you use for um, – Math K from the Good and the Beautiful. And then this is most of what um, comes with the manipulative kit when you buy it. Now, I will say that this program versus this program um, is a bit pricier on the on the offset just because you buy all the manipul manipulatives separate from the course book. Um, but the good news is with Right Start Math, once you buy the manipulative set, you, you have it for all of the levels of their program, which I thought was pretty cool. And so there's stuff that, um, I mean, is in the original packaging and we haven't even used. And so you will have everything that you need for Right Start Mathematics all the way through the older levels with this one manipulative kit. With, right, uh, with the Good and the Beautiful, however, once... Um, each level is a different manipulatives kit. Now I do know that they that level one and level two use the same kit, and I believe level three and the level four when they when they release it will use the same kit. So they are trying to keep the cost down that way and reuse the materials. Um, but other than that, that is the first thing kind of that I noticed was that you have to buy multiple manipulatives kit kits for the good and the beautiful, and then you only have one manipulative kit for Right Start Math. Um, and it's it's hard to organize all of this stuff because there's so much stuff. And they do try to keep the variety down um, here with, you know, everything that they have. And so really quickly, I am just going to go through... Um, I'm going to sit down. Uh, we're just going to quickly go through the good and the beautiful first. And so the first thing that I want to mention is it does come with a calendar. So you do a calendar every day. And it does come with a place value chart every day. So right off the bat, the first thing that they are learning about every day in kindergarten is place value. And I very, very much appreciate that. And then it does come with two course books. So here's part one. And then you do have a part two. So part one, part two. And then you have all of these manipulatives that come, and you have to punch them out, but they do come with um, bags that you can put everything in. So here's all, and we use these almost every day. There's just wooden cubes. And then here's some patterns, inchworm, 
It does come with kind of, um, it's not a full abacus like the one that Right Start Math gives you, but it does come with this. And we haven't used this yet. We are almost all the way through um, part one, and we have not used this yet. So I don't know um, when that is going to um, happen. And then it ha we have some 10-frame um, cards, some numbered cards, an even card, and an odd card underneath and then some shape cards. And then I'm not gonna show you all of the um, like work mats that come with the Good and the Beautiful. So here's just a few. It does come with a few um, different versions of a 10 frame. And so here's like a, a B one, here's a vegetable garden one, and then like a, a chalkboard one. It does have some shape um, some different shape things that you have to make shapes out of. Another 10 frame card. And then it does come with a part hole work mat, which I thought was pretty cool. And so they, they give you everything that you need. And so here is um, the course book. And again, it's just very colorful. There's a lot of different activities in here. And um, I'm going to get to the to the table of contents in a second. So the the... The major thing is they give you all the manipulatives that you need, and the course books are super colorful. So over here for Right Start Math, um, almost right out of the gate, you're using this full abacus. Um, it is not like the first lesson you're using it, but it's within the first couple weeks of schooling that you really start to use this. And this really helped my son to understand a lot of mathematical principles. Um, and so I do wish that The Good and the Beautiful would have... Um, included some abacus work, but as as for right now, I think it's okay. Um, and then there, here are some centimeter cubes. And then they also had a lot of cards that they used for level K. Um, and here are some number cards that you play a lot of games with. And then some fraction pieces that we used, tangrams tally sticks that we used and then we used these a whole bunch we used some of these geometric shapes and then the balance we used often and so here's the course book for level a so level a is what i guess their kindergarten level would be and um the first thing that you're gonna see obviously as we flip through is there's no color in here there's no um, different activities that you can like just pick out right away. They do have a variety of games that you're playing to reinforce mathematical principles. And when you buy, um, when you buy the, the course, you do get a math card game. And again, this goes through all of the card games that you play through all of the levels. So, I mean, it's very, they, they take care of you there, um, as far as describing how to play the game, what you needed, all those kinds of things. And so, um, again, this is only one book, and the um, Good and the Beautiful gives you two, but this is just the teacher's manual, whereas with Good and the Beautiful, you're working out of and teaching out of the same book. And so, like, for a lesson, you read what's in black, and then in blue is what... Um, in blue is what you will, like the instructions for certain things. And so again, it's just, I don't know, I am a very visual learner. And so color really grabs my attention a lot more than just black and white stuff. And so, um, that's just the first thing that I noticed about the two different curriculums. The Good and the Beautiful goes by theme in their sections, and so that's what the di different manipulatives are. So the first section was all about beehives. And so whatever you were doing, whether it be addition or sorting or counting, um, you were using the bee manipulatives. In the second um, section, we are on vegetable gardens, and so we switched to the the vegetable ones. And so I really like that, how it definitely changes, but yet it does follow um, a rhythm. And so a normal lesson for the good and the beautiful, 
you start off with this daily dose here, and it's it's mostly the same thing. So the, the child kind of gets the repetitive. So they always do their calendar every day, like I said, and they always do their place value chart every day. And then um, there's some other things that you can do. And then um, in the back, they usually have different kinds of graphs that you um, that you utilize for um, different shapes and the size of shapes and all kinds of things. So um, this daily dose takes us, I mean, usually about five minutes, and then the rest of it takes about 20, 25 sometimes minutes. At the end of every lesson, they will have a student worksheet and a bonus activity. And sometimes the bonus activities are included in the lesson, and sometimes they are um, things that you have to go and um, do. But like, so this one was the the bonus activity. Oh, that one that was one that I I tore out. Sorry. Let me find a bonus activity that is included. So um, so here is a bonus activity. So then you use the the pattern shapes to make like your own patterns and your own shapes and then here's the student worksheet and so my daughter really likes this um my daughter is a very quick learner and so she did she never started with right start math um but i'm just saying for from first looks i i feel like um she's doing very well with this course so far i am going to quickly show you the table of contents in this book and then compare like lessons from this book from Right Start Math. So there's your scope and sequence. Here's their philosophy. And here's the table of contents. Well, I'll go through a lesson real quick as well. So for the um, Right Start Math, they had basically the same thing. The, the Good and the Beautiful calls it the daily dose, but this is just a review. So that you would have a warm up and then you would teach your lesson and you would go into. Um, you know, you would go into your lesson for the day. And so here is a list of all of the um, table of contents. So let's go to lesson 10. So this 1 through 10 are numbers, 1 through 5, practicing, counting, um, tally marks, A-B patterns, missing numbers, and comparing numbers. So then here, from 1 to 10... You're doing subitizing, sorting, patterns, matching, subitizing, subitizing, and orders. Um, and so that's just right off the bat, they're a little bit different. And then let's go down here to 50. So targets are just, it's an activity, but basically you're, you're, learning how to make two and how to make three different different addition equations that can make that. So that's 50. Let's go over here to lesson 50. For lesson 50, you're doing circles and ellipses. Okay. So this ends at lesson 60 with the commutative property. And at 60 here, you're adding and writing doubles equations. So I will say in this video that in the level one math from the good and the beautiful my son is doing doubles right now and so in this book they don't even introduce doubles let me go to here and I will just quickly go through and I don't see numbers 11 through 20 counting by twos I don't see anything that says doubles in this course. And so right off the bat, you can see that this is just a little bit more advanced, I would say. And I think that's a little bit of the reason why I wanted to go and do The Good and the Beautiful, because I think it takes it at a slower pace and one that makes sense to the kids. So then here's part two. So this book has, let's see, how many lessons does this have? 132 lessons, and then this one has 117. So a little fewer than Right Start Math, but for lesson 70, we're doing 5 plus what? Like 5 plus numbers. So let's come back over here to lesson 70, and they are doing a calendar. 
but 71 working with hundreds. So you're already jumping into hundreds in level uh, in the level A here, which is like the kindergarten level. And to me, that that is very ambitious. <laughs> um, and I think, again, that's one of the reasons that after level the, the first grade level of Right to Start Math, we decided to kind of change and look for something else. My son wasn't keeping up, and he was just drowning in all of the new concepts that he hadn't concretely gotten the other concepts. So again, let's come down to 100. Where's 100? Counting by twos. Where's 100 here? Me well, that's the assessment. So then like measuring with inches. Um, so then here's like the inchworm. So they are talking about inches here as well. So, I mean, I don't know. I think, like I said, I love Right Start Math. And I love their philosophy. And I love all of the manipulatives that come with it. But for our family, it just made sense to start a new curriculum that went at a slower pace. And so, um, again, if you have any questions or you want to see anything more in-depth about Level K math from The Good and the Beautiful or Right Start Math, um, I do have a Right Start Math Level A video um, that I can link below if you're interested. But this is just a quick comparison of um, The Good and the Beautiful Level K which is their kindergarten, and then the um, Right Start Math Level A, which is their kindergarten. Now, I will say that the Good and the Beautiful, um, their levels do correspond a lot more closely with grade level than their language arts programs, but there is still an assessment online for free that you can give your child to figure out where they should start. Um, and I really appreciate that. And so um, this is, again, just a comparison between the kindergarten levels of Good and the Beautiful Math, and Right Start Math. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if I went quick and you need to see something more in-depth, I will be glad to make another video. Um, but for now, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a really great day. Bye!